Hey, good Sunday morning, everyone, and happy new year. This is Joe. My reflection for this Sunday, January the 1st, 2023. Today is New Year's Day, a day where a lot of people will start something, looking towards a goal that will conclude something. Life is a lot about starting a situation and then looking towards a goal whether it's school, whether it's a career, whatever it might be. However, we cannot lose fact that the journey in between is of utmost importance. As a matter of fact, much can be learned during that journey that sometimes we lose sight of because we're so focused on the beginning or the end. I hope you do have a wonderful New Year's and you do have some wonderful things planned because that is important. But please keep your eyes on the journey and please keep your minds and hearts open as we now read today's gospel. Our gospel is from St. Luke chapter 2 verses 16 to 21. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just that it had been done, had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now these shepherds, Back in these days, they had quite a journey. And they had a beginning point and an end point of that journey. And they did miraculous things during their time here on earth. And the shepherds that were part of this group had a very important end goal. And that end goal was to encounter the Christ child. That is a goal that should be part of every single one of our goals. Every single one. No matter what it is, whether it's buying a house, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a college education, whether it's a job, somehow or another we need to integrate the attitudes and life of Jesus in every end goal that we have. The shepherds did just that, but they did it keeping their minds and hearts focused on the journey. And during that journey, they care for many animals. They care for their sheep. That's what shepherds do. They care for their camels and all that were, unfortunately, during those times, forced to work so much. Not sure if you knew this, but it is widely thought that Moses was selected to lead the people out of Egypt because of his amazing ability during his years as a shepherd to be so caring and compassionate to the sheep that he tended. That's how God selected him. That is a widely belief thought. So what about our journey? Our journey is in our everyday actions. Our everyday actions are so important. They get us to that goal that we are looking at in life. Those actions have to be filled with love, compassion, and peace for all that we encounter along the way. And one good way to do it is exactly what the shepherds did as they moved on from step to step during this journey, they focused on what was before them to care for those in need, the animals that were in their midst. What a wonderful way that would be for us to start this new year, 2023, to integrate into our goals that we have already put in place as the journey being so important in our daily actions towards the end goal that we're looking at. And to add one more, Add one more and join me in what I'm going to be rolling out to help animals in need around the world and make that part of our journey together. And then the goals that we reach, both together and individually, will in fact have the Christ child's life, attitude, and love attached to it. My friends, I thank you so much for joining me. We built such a beautiful base of people who gather with us every day. 
And I want to con continue to build that base. I do have plans that I want to roll out soon that will talk about how we can help more animals in need around the world. You know it's my passion. If it's your passion, I'd ask you to consider joining me. Whether it's your passion or not, I thank you and I appreciate you being part of this journey, which is separate and important as well in our daily gospel reflections. I have been posting my PayPal link in the header of the posts. I continue to post it and I ask if you're so willing, any donation is helpful because what I do with it is I use it to fund the projects that I'm working on that all go to helping animals in need around the world, whether it's dogs, cats, pigs, cows, whatever they may be, if they need help, I like to try to be there for them. I hope you enjoyed my time with you today. I feel this is an important message, especially on this New Year's Day. Hope it resonated with you. I always welcome your comments and your thoughts, and if it was helpful for you, if you'd share it with others. Please continue to follow me at my website, joedwyerjr.com. I wish you a wonderful, peaceful, and healthy New Year's Day and beyond. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everyone.